Hi everybody, this is Dr. Sellers and today I wanted to read you some poetry. Um, actually, April is National Poetry Month. So last week I shared some Shel Silverstein poems with your um, families at, on our weekly newsletter. And so this week I wanted to show you about a different type of poetry. They're actually called concrete poems and this book is called A Poke in the Eye. And it is a collection of concrete poems and they were selected by Paul Janesco and they're illustrated by Chris Rashko. So first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Concrete Poems. And so this page is a note from the editor and it actually is written kind of to look like a concrete poem. And it says, concrete poems are different from regular poems. In fact, they're a lot more playful. As you might guess from the title of this book, what are they, you ask? Well, a concrete poem can be as simple as a single word, like stowaway, and you can see the little a is smaller, from Robert Carolla. That word becomes a poem because of the unusual way the type is placed on the page. A concrete poem can also be a selection of words arranged into a particular shape, like Eskimo Pie by John Hollander. The arrangement of letters or words on the page, the typeface is chosen, and the way space is used add meaning to the poem beyond that contained in the actual words. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples and actually read to you. So this is the first concrete poem I'm gonna share with you. And hopefully you can see it has a shape. And the poem starts at the top up here and it says, oh, it's called A Seeing Poem by Robert Froman. A seeing poem happens when words take a shape that helps them to turn on a light in someone's mind. So that's one concrete poem. Let me share another one with you. This is a very short poem. It's called Cat Chair. And basically, that's a cat chair. And then another one is this one right here. And it says, I need contact lenses like I need a poke in the eye. And it was written by John Hegley. And you can see the type gets very tiny. So the authors of these poems are using how they represent the poem to add meaning to what they put in their poem. Here's another one about one of my son's favorite things. This one's called Popsicle. And it says, Popsicle, Popsicle, Tickle, tongue, fun, lick, sickle, stick, sickle. Please don't run, drip, sickle, slip, sickle, melt, melt, tricky, stop, sickle, plop, sickle, hands all sticky. This concrete poem is called Sky Daydream. And you can see the person is laying here on the ground. And one of the things that's different about this poem is the first time I read it, I started where we would usually start reading at the top, but I quickly realized it didn't make as much sense when you start at the top. And so then I tried it starting from the bottom and then it made more sense. And you can also see that the topic is in the shape of the words. So it starts down here. Once I saw some crows fly off into the sky, I wished that I could fly off with them. And that's why you can see that the poem, the shape of the letters and the words is in the shape of birds. I wonder if you guys have ever thought of wanting to fly like a bird. This uh, poem is called Balloon. I bet you can see why. As big, as ball, as round, as sun, I tug and pull you when you run. And when wind blows, I say politely, Hold me tightly. Have you ever let go of a balloon and it flies up to the sky? This is our last poem I'm going to share with you. And it's about one of my favorite animals, a giraffe. And this one is written by Maureen Armour. And you can see the poem is the shape of a giraffe. And I particularly like this illustration. So first it was done with pieces of fabric as the people's clothing. And then you can see they're probably at a zoo right? Because we have this fence. So it says, a giraffe is so tall and his head is so far above his legs, 
he probably can't see his adorable toes or anything else below his knees and elbows. And so a lot of those descriptive body part words are actually in his legs as the concrete poem. So I hope you enjoyed hearing some concrete poems today. This book is actually available in our Lang Ranch Library. It's called A Poke in the Eye. I hope you find some concrete poems and I would really love for you to write some concrete poems. And if you do write some concrete poems, please share them with me because I would love to see them. All right, everybody, happy National Poetry Month.